It is Monday night. Monday night. It's Monday night. It's Monday night, and we are getting ready to uh, get rid of that chair. Get rid of this chair right here. Yeah. We picked up uh, a new chair for Pam. A, a way nicer one. This one is a piece of junk. It's terrible. It doesn't wheel. Other than yeah. That, I like it. Yeah. It it's really like, yeah, it's it's terrible. So we're getting rid of that. We picked this one up at that garage sale this past weekend on Sunday. And, you know, we got everything for 10 bucks, including that chair, which was super awesome. What are we doing? Pulling orders, right? Yeah, I don't have so my phone. we've got, I've got my phone right here. We've got seven things going out. I mean, seven things to ship out is a fair amount for us. Like that's a, that's a good number. Let's go see what we got. First thing that sold, troll. Look at this little troll. We picked this troll up at a garage sale a few weeks ago. Uh, paid seven bucks for this troll and like a bunch of other video game stuff And so this is pure profit at this point. We already are in profit on that deal But uh, this actually went out to a viewer. So uh, Michelle with one L, right? Yes. Viewer That's Michelle with one L. Uh, she ended up buying this little guy or little girl. It's a girl, I guess <laughs> But she is cool a little witch but she sold uh, for $7.99, $7.99, right? $7.99 right? plus shipping. So Michelle, thank you so much for your purchase and thank you so much for your uh, support of our channel. We really appreciate the business and most importantly, your support. So thank you. Yes, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> I hope you enjoy her. <laughs> Next thing that sold is this thing right here. This Nintendo DS uh, little cartridge game. It's Nintendogs and we picked this up for 50 cents at a garage sale. And we sold it, I just listed it the other day. I think I just listed this on Saturday, actually. And it already sold, Bay. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. That is the smallest game I've ever seen in a while. Yeah, it's a Nintendo DS game. Yep. Yeah, and my sickle will stab you. <laughs> the next thing that sold was a video game. This was a killer sale, guys, killer sale. Um, I just listed these stack of games here. I haven't even put them away on the shelves yet. And it's this one right here. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for Xbox One. This thing sold. <sighs> Pam, you're going to have an easy shipping job here. All this stuff can fit into some easy shipping stuff. Uh, so this sold for a whopping $2.75 plus shipping. Call of Duty games are really not that valuable, unless you have the newest version. The next thing that sold was one of these GameCube things. It's right over here on our video game shelf. Um, this little GameCube, Mad Cats, uh, GameCube game carrying case. I forget how many games it holds. You guys can see right there what, basically what it is. These things do pretty well, uh, especially if you find the ones that are the original GameCube uh, ones that have the GameCube name on it instead of Mad Cats. That's just like a third party one. Um, we sold an actual GameCube one about a month ago. I think we sold that one for like 20 bucks. And this one sold, we haven't even had it listed that long. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping. So not bad. We sold Call of Duty Black Ops. And then we sold, where's the other one? We sold Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I remember playing these ones. These ones are fun. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was one of like my favorite games. This, I used to play the crap out of this one. Like seriously, the zombies, the I zombie used map. To play the crap out of it. I did, I did on Xbox 360 when I was in high school. I did. This, uh. This was like the greatest game ever, or one of the, I, oh, so many good memories with this one. <laughs> I picked this up in a local deal. Um, this ended up selling for $2 and something, and this one ended up selling for $2 and something. You'll see, actually, no, one of them sold for four bucks, I think. I don't remember which one, probably Black Ops 2. Either way, you're seeing them on the screen. So, those two games sold. And then what else we got? Finally, the last thing we sold was actually a viewer sale. And this is kind of a funny story. Um, we sold this scale. This scale really isn't worth much money, guys. And I was kind of a risky buy when I bought it. I think we got it for two bucks. I can't remember even how much we paid for it. We got it at a garage sale anyway. 
Um, it's, it's this old vintage scale. Move this out of the way. This old vintage scale here. Ugh. And we put it at auction. <laughs> and a viewer won it. And they got a killer deal on this thing. They really did. A fun buy. It was a fun buy. So it's this old vintage scale. It goes up to, I think it's like 24 pounds or something. And, um... Ugh, put that back. And we put it at auction. And it actually was at auction twice. The first time, the buyer didn't pay for it. And then the second time, uh, a viewer won it. So congratulations to Ricky. Ricky is the one who won this. Um, it was an experimental auction for that thing because I really didn't know what it was worth. So I just figured I'd put it up for auction, see what I could get for it. And uh, Ricky ended up getting it for a whopping $3 plus shipping. So Ricky, thank you for your purchase. Thank you for the support of the channel. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get to making dinner because I'm the cook in this household. Right. Right, Ricky, Bobby. <laughs> and uh, while I'm while I'm cooking dinner, Pam is going to uh, do some shipping. So we're gonna get to that now. Hey guys, it's Ryan and Pam, and it is Tuesday night, and Pam's here being an amazing wife, doing the dishes. She's the best. Look at everything she does for me. Look, she mows the lawn. She does the dishes. She cleans. And I, you know, I'm busy doing reselling. I do laundry. She does laundry. You know, I, I'm doing all this stuff, working hard. You bring home the bacon. I bring, <laughs> no. We and both, then you cook it. We both bring home the bacon. But we both worked really hard, but she's just to awesome. I bring home a pig, though. Like, I don't want to kill the bacon. Okay. Katan just likes to meow because he wants the treats. Pig. That is my pig. He just wants treats. Good boy, pa. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to pull some orders tonight. Uh, we have some things that sold. We have a couple of viewer sales actually, which is amazing. We love viewer sales. We love people who uh, support our channel and support our eBay business. It's uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. So the first thing going out is actually something that we have had for a very, very, very long time. Um, <laughs> it's actually funny. This mug right here, true story. I bought at a garage sale. It's a Hershey's mug. Just like a, it just says Hershey's on it. Hershey's mug, I bought this a year ago. Okay, a year ago. Pam and I went to a yard sale. Uh, it was probably, we started seriously reselling last August and it's August now. So we've been reselling for about a year, um, part time. I remember going to a garage sale. This was the first yard sale we went to in terms of looking to buy things to flip for profit. And we, <laughs> back then, we didn't have any idea what to buy. And I mean, I'm not saying we do now. We like, you know, we're still learning like crazy and we're still learning every day and we still miss so much stuff being new. Um, but I mean, we're into it a year now and I think we're, we're learning pretty well and learning things that, you know, are desirable and good to sell and stuff like that. But uh, this mug right here is one of the things, <laughs> one of the things I picked up at that yard sale like a year ago. So it's crazy how far we've come. But anyway, uh, this thing sold today for, uh, I took an offer on it. Somebody offered $4 plus shipping. And guys, you can see in the listing right there probably, look at that picture. So I took that picture when we first started selling on eBay seriously. And I literally just took this mug, set it on the kitchen counter and took a picture. <laughs> and it looks like crap, right? It really does. Um, but that shows you kind of like how far we've come from where we started. And I just thought that was kind of cool. So I figured I'd start out with that sale there, but uh, very interesting. This is uh, something, probably one of our first garage sale finds ever, like seriously ever. All right, the next thing that sold was actually something that was really awesome. I was really excited about this sale today, guys. This right here, this backpack. We have not had this very long, maybe a month, if that, not very long. It's an Oakley backpack. And it wasn't really doing much. Like, it was just kind of sitting there in our store. I listed it, and 
We got a few offers, like low offers, the first day I list a bit, and I just declined them, obviously, because I had just, you know, it was a new listing and everything. And I honestly really like this backpack. I almost kept it for myself, um, for the backpack cam, <laughs> for the garage sales. But it ended up selling today. We picked this up. This was a retail arbitrage find, okay? And we paid $40 for this backpack. And Oakley stuff is really, really good. Not every Oakley thing is good to resell, but uh, especially like if you find it at garage sales, not, you know, when it comes to retail and stuff like that, um, not all Oakley stuff is, is great to resell. Some stuff there's not much profit in. But this particular backpack, there was some good profit in. And I ended up picking it up because um, school season is starting. You know, back to school season is in full effect. Um, I was looking up sell through rate and how many were listing, how many were listed versus how many sold. And the sell through rate on this particular model backpack wasn't, wasn't crazy. So, I mean, it was like, okay, but it was definitely a long tail item. And when I bought it, I thought to myself that, you know, back to school, like I was just saying, back to school is just kind of ramping up. You know, it's August, people are gonna be going back to school. You know, whether it's college, middle school, high school kids, they're going to need backpacks. And this is a very nice backpack. It's in a great color. You know, it's got the dark green and black, and it's a great brand. So I picked it up retail arbitrage $40 and I sold it today for 90 bucks plus shipping. So that was a great RA flip and I'm really excited about it. And honestly, I'm a little bit sad because um, I almost wanted to keep this for myself. Deep down inside, I kind of hoped it wouldn't sell. But the next thing we sold was this uh, really cool yo-yo. And we picked this up at a garage sale for um, a buck and it sold today. I just listed this thing probably uh, like a week ago or like less than a week ago. Not very long. It sold very quickly. It ended up going through eBay's global shipping program. Um, I highly suggest uh, people turning the global shipping program on if you are a seller. It just opens your horizons and allows you to sell to a broader number of people. Ever since turning it on, I've sold like many things through the global shipping program. So um, I like it. So if, you, if you're not using it, I, I mean, I would suggest it. It just allows you to make more sales really. Um, and when you sell an item through the global shipping program, uh, it basically gets shipped to Kentucky, to eBay's uh, global shipping program, like warehouse or processing center or whatever you call it. And it goes to Kentucky, and then after that, as long as it makes it to Kentucky safely, it's all in eBay's hands. So anything that happens after that is all on eBay. So as long as it makes it to their warehouse, you're good, and you're protected through eBay. So anyway, um, this is going global. This is actually going to Australia, which is pretty cool. But we paid a buck for this at a garage sale, and it sold for $20, I think it was $19.99, free shipping. I put free shipping on this item because it's very light. It'll go first class. Probably will only cost like $3 to ship. So decent flip there. Yo-yos are good, especially sealed ones and older ones and vintage ones. We've sold a few um, older vintage yo-yos. And then the next thing that sold was actually a viewer sale. And this was kind of a cool thing. This was an auction that we were running. And we picked these up a couple weeks ago at a garage sale. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle little action figures here. And we have quite a few of them. Let me pull them off the shelf here. So we've yeah. got a total, what? I heard you call my name. Oh. We've got a total of, uh, I think it's seven of them here. Uh, little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures. They're vintage. They're from the early 90s and late 80s. And like I said, a viewer actually bought them. His name is Kevin. And he also has a YouTube channel. His, What's up, Kevin? Hey, Kevin. His YouTube channel is uh, Commonwealth Picker, and he makes some cool uh, YouTube videos about reselling, and he also goes to yard sales and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure he has a GoPro Hero 7, just like, just like us, which is a great camera, so good choice, Kevin. Um, but thank you very, very much. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> thank you. Good choice, Kevin. Good choice, Kevin. No, <laughs> GoPro's great. I'm going to change my name to... Pam at, what was his, uh... Commonwealth Picker. <laughs> at Commonwealth Picker. <laughs> 
But uh, Kevin, we're gonna ship these out for you tomorrow, and uh, thank you very, very much for your purchase and for I'm your support kiss of your channel. Every one of them. Pam's gonna kiss every one for <laughs> every um, one for you. Fun fact: this one, the purple one, was my favorite. Donatello, the one with the bow. That's yeah. your favorite one. He was my favorite. If I had to marry one, it would have been him. I mean, <laughs> this one's kind of his shell doesn't stay on, but I mean, maybe some girls like that, but. <laughs> No, they're really cool. So, Kevin, I hope you enjoy. Um, I think you said you were going to give them to your kids or your sons. And uh, I hope they enjoy them. And I'm glad to see them to go to a good home and to someone who uh, really supports us and supports our channel. So thank you so much, Kevin. But which one would you have married? I told them. I, I don't know. I never watched that show as a kid. Huh. Yeah. No. I don't watch much TV or movies. I feel like that should have been discussed before. <laughs> We sold one of these things. We sold one of these genteel uh, eye drops. These were an RA find for 12 bucks. And we have quite a few of them that we're trying to sell through. And one sold today for $19.99 free shipping. So not much profit here. But uh, honestly, I'm just trying to move them out because we have so many of them. And eh, I don't know. It is what it is. Yes, I was telling everybody about this. Isn't this crazy? You remember when we bought this? Was this was like the first yard sale we ever went to, like a I year ago. I recommend you putting up the picture that you listed. That oh, picture. I showed everybody the picture. How yeah. ugly it was. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was at your parents' house. Yes, it, it was. Yep. Because you have that big red wall, and I'm like, where yep. did that come? I from? just set it on the counter. I took a picture. <laughs> We've come a very long way, guys. I remember when you picked that up. You were so pumped. You're like, this. Is I was so excited. Instantly. Oh yeah, I was pumped. I was like, we got these for a dollar. I think we had a couple of them. We already first sold two. one. Like, like last year we sold one of them. We had two of them. Yeah, the first one we sold. I don't even remember how much we got for it, but we bought both of them. I think it, both of them for a buck. So yeah. we had fifty cents in this. And I was so excited. I was so like, I'm going to sell so much. I think that was the first thing that you ever bought from a yard sale. It we is. We were just like, yeah, yeah, it is. What is my password for serious though? Because You're, this is the password? third day in a row that I've had to make a new password. I forget. <laughs> I did I even write it down? Oh my goodness. I don't even think I did. Anyway, guys, uh, we're going to get to shipping. <laughs> Pam is going to ship probably. Oh, Pam yeah. will ship. I'll Probably, do some listing. That's my job. I'll do some listing back here. I don't yeah, have any do. video to edit tonight, so I. Yes, uh, you do. What? On my thing, you do. Oh, I do. Even though you guys would have already seen it. Hopefully, I've been trying to get this boy to get that question out. <laughs> We're gonna get to some listing. Uh, Pam's probably gonna ship this stuff out while I list here. Um, try to keep getting ahead of our inventory. But anyway, I appreciate all you guys watching and. I hope uh, you guys have a great day. I don't know. What else? That's it, right? Keep dreaming, you crazy dreamers, and you might sell the first thing that you found at a yard sale, too. <laughs> Even if it takes a year. Even if it takes a year. <laughs>